During the apartheid era, the country's education system was designed to reinforce racial discrimination rather than provide the necessary human resource base to promote equitable socio-economic development. After independence, change was evident as the new government was determined to create a unified structure for education administration. One of the topics that will be discussed at the upcoming conference is vocational training, an area the education minister says is not given the attention it deserves. So we'd like to look at um, the curriculum. We want to look at um, the equipment we have given them for practice. We want to see, are we producing enough for the market to ensure that uh, we industrialize? We have a lot of people who are coming out of our secondary schools. If we say, go to the vocational training centers, do we have space? Do we have lecturers? Are they prepared? And we want to interrogate this to make sure that we produce. At the moment, we don't have enough lecturers qualified um, to do that. We don't have um, enough um, vocational training centers. Those we have, do we maybe need to expand them? The teaching equipment. Those equipment maybe are outdated, some of them. Not enough. And how can we then talk about industrialization? We would like to answer the question of the nation that we should expand more the vocational training centers. Not to say you send the people to the vocational training centers because um, it is a sector for those who fail. Vocational training centers is a severe in terms of industrialization. Those are the people who make things um, really to move in terms of the economic development. The biggest share of the national budget is allocated to education, which is a large part of the country's total GDP. This makes Namibia one of three countries in the world with the highest percentage of GDP directed towards education. We'll be looking at um, the financing of um, education. Yes, we say education has the biggest um, budget, which is true. But we would like to interrogate further, where does this money go to? Is it for salaries? And if so, how much is for salaries? And um, for how long has it been that way? And how can we use this money more efficiently? Then the capital budget to be able to build more schools. Well, how are we doing? Or there is um, a shortcoming there. We like to interrogate uh, all this in the building of um, the infrastructure. We like this conference to come up with um, an implementable roadmap. A roadmap that is implementable. The discussions at the conference will not be limited to certain things to do with um, education. The conference is going to be a full meal holistic um, approach. President Hifika Punye Pahamba is expected to give the opening address at this conference that will be focusing on all stages of education, starting with pre-primary level all the way to tertiary.